you know, put your fish, you're alrighty, the head is always this way. Perfect. This is tri -pass. I have one for everyone. Yeah. This is a farm raised striped bass. Uh -huh. As opposed to a wild. To a wild. How do I know it's farm? Lines. Number one, the lines. See the line is broken here? It's genetically inferior. See that? See how the lines are in straight? A wild striped bass has perfect black lines and silver lines. Farm raised always have a broken line in it. It's a genetic inferiority. Okay, I'm going to take this and first cut. It'll be right behind the gill plate. I'm going to cut it up to here, run a knife along there. Right behind the gill plate, first cut. As close as you can to the head without hitting this bony structure. When I get there, I'm going to make a horizontal slit right along the spine. Work my knife to the tail and through. Come down again, just like on the flounder. I'm severing the belly bones. There's two ways to do this. I'm going to have you sever them. I'll show you the other way on the other side. Nice clean fillet. I'll show you how to take out these belly bones in a moment. Other side, same cut. Right behind the fin. Right in behind the head. A lot of people do it like this. Don't. Right in there at an angle. You want to get all that meat right behind the head. back, the opposite way. Everyone's going to have a fish in front of them. And I will do it with you step by step. First we want to get a little ceviche. A ceviche. Marinated fish. Cooked with acid. This is very good to make a fish stock out of. It's hard bones, it's white, it's not an oily fish. Salmon's very poor. Now you see these belly bones are in here. This is a row of bones, I gotta get them out. I'm taking my knife tip, slipping it under the bone. I'm gonna do one at a time, see that? It's a curve, it's almost like the letter C. See that belly bone is just curved, okay? You can see me do them all at once, but I want to show you one at a time. Put a knife tip like silver skin. A lot of people just cut this whole belly section off. That's crazy. You're wasting a third of the fish. We can't afford to waste fish. If you're paying five, six, seven bucks a pound with the head. It's a lot of money. A lot of waste. Every bone's coming out of here. There should be two more, maybe three more. Took two that time. And two more on the end. I have a row of pin bones in here, same as salmon. We'll get that left. Always run my knife on it. So get this schmutz up there. Sometimes there's a scale. Almost all the work you do is from tail to head, just like when you pull the pin bones out towards the head. If you go this way, it breaks up the meat. Everything you do towards the head, you can scrape. Okay? So you get this schmutz that just came off. It's a little bit of mashed fish, a little bit of coagulated blood. Again, with the knife, you hold it at a slight angle towards the cutting board and pull the skin back and forth. I said, pull the skin back and forth. Ugh, I cut it. Knife's too sharp. What do I have to do? Stuff on the other side. Better not post this on Facebook, Liz. There we go. Got a touch of skin in. Just shave them off a little bit. Ceviche. I'm going to make sure everything's nice and clean.